Hey, welcome to this tutorial. So today we are going to learn how to create this amazing dashboard in Google Looker Studio. We will start with how to import data into Google Looker Studio. If we take a look at this dashboard, we will be able to see that this dashboard represents business analysis. Basically, in a moment you will be able to see that we are analyzing sales performance. So over on the right hand side, you will be able to see our data source and also our columns. Of course, we will create everything from scratch, so you will be able to see how to first import this data and then how to use it to create this amazing dashboard. So let's see what are the fields that we have here. Basically, we have channel, city, cost of sales, country, manufacturer, order date, and so on. We also have some important numerical values that we will be using. For example, we will be using profit. We also have sales, unit cost, for example, and also cost of sales. We will be using some of them in our dashboard. But let me show you one more thing. If I check this profit margin field, I will be able to see this function icon here. If I check this profit, for example, I have a regular number here. But for this profit margin, I have function here. So basically, this means that we are using calculated field here. Basically, in this video, you will be able to see how to create calculated field. Now, with that being said, let's proceed to the next part of this video. Next part will be analyzing our data source. So let me go to Google Sheets. And here in Google Sheets, we are able to see that we have some data here. Basically, all our data will be stored here in Google Sheets. Of course, I will share this link in the description of this video. So you will be able to create your own dashboard. OK, now let's check our data. If you check this, for example, order ID column and let's go back to Google Ocker Studio, you will be able to see that we also have order ID column here. Let's check order date. We also have order date. So basically in Google Looker Studio, we are able to see all these values that we have here. Also some interesting columns are channel, for example. We already mentioned profit, sales, subcategory, category, region, city, country, and so on. Okay, now let's go back to Google Looker Studio. And now what we need to do, we need to create blank report. So basically, to do that, I will first need to click on this button here. Now we are able to see Google Looker Studio homepage. Here we have different options. Over on the left hand side, we have few options. First, we can create new report. We also have some recent reports. As you can see, this tab is already selected. So we are able to see those recent dashboards that we have. Also, we have this shared with me option. So we are able to see these dashboards that we have access to. Also, we have this own by me option. This tab contains deleted dashboards. Also, we have some templates and basically that's everything on this left side here. So what we need to do, we need to create new report. So I can click either on this create button or I can click on this blank report. So let's click, for example, on this one. And now I need to choose from these three options. I'm going to choose report. So we will be creating report. Let's click on that. And now we are able to see this add data to report page. As you can see, we need to connect data to our Google Looker Studio, basically to be able to create our dashboard. So in this connect to data tab, I will choose Google Sheets because we already know that our data is stored in Google Sheets. So let's click on that. And now we need to choose specific spreadsheet. In our case, it's called sales, as you can see here. So let's pick sales. This worksheet is data and I'm going to leave these default options. So let's click on add. Now we can simply click on this add to report. And now we have our data successfully imported in Google Looker Studio. On this right side here, you are able to see our data source and also we have our fields here. If you check this canvas here, you will be able to see that we have some table. It is table that Google Ocker Studio created for us. Basically, we don't need to see that. So I'm going to remove that. I'm going to just select the table and press delete. OK, perfect. Now we have our data successfully imported and we are ready to start creating our dashboard. So first we need to change canvas size and also background color. To do that, let's go to page. Current page settings. Let's click on this style. And then I'm going to need to change those two options here. For this one, let's put 1000. 
and for this one let's put something like this okay perfect now with that completed we are able to proceed to next step next step is background color so let's click on theme and layout and now we have some default themes as you can see if you scroll down you will be able to see different themes here i'm gonna pick this one so basically i will be just using this black background color and if i click on that i'll be able to see that black color now it's time to add title to our dashboard we will call it business analysis so first let's change that name here let's type business analysis okay perfect and now i'm gonna insert my title let's click on this text option and let's place it here let's type business analysis And now I'm going to change font. So let's change first font size. Let's put, for example, something like this. That is perfect. I'm going to make that bold. And also I will need to resize this. Maybe even I will make it bigger. Okay, perfect. Let's resize this and place it here. Okay, great. Now we have our title. So let's see what is the next step. If I click on this one more time i will open new window and now let's choose this one okay now let's check on our dashboard those shapes here so i will be creating the same so we will need two shapes let's go back to our dashboard and to insert shape you have this option here it's simply called shape so if i click on that i will be able to choose circle or this rectangle i'm gonna choose first one and I'm gonna place it here for example and now we have our first shape now we need to modify this shape for color maybe I could use something else actually I'm gonna leave this color but I will change something else let me first change this one I'm gonna put 15 and now you can see the difference here so let's click on this one more time and also I'm gonna change this border color I'm gonna pick this orange and for this line i'm gonna put five so that way we will be able to see that border line now let's place this shape on proper location and let's also resize that shape it will be something like this perfect let's copy this shape copy and let's paste it here okay perfect now i'm gonna put it like this let's resize those shapes one more time okay that's excellent now we can start adding some visuals and filters to our dashboard so let's check what we can insert let's go back to this original dashboard and now you will be able to see that we have those nice kpis on top so maybe we should create them first and after that i'm gonna proceed to those charts that we have so let's first create kpi cards as you can see we have profit basically this is total profit total sales profit margin for this one we will need to create calculated field so basically we will divide profit by sales and we will get percentage so it will show us average profit margin also we will present a different number of regions countries and cities for that purpose we're going to be using count distinct so let's start working let's go back to our dashboard and now let's insert first kpi card let's click on add a chart scorecard and let's place it here so here is our kpi card now we need to modify this card to modify this card we will go to style option and now in this section we will change few things so first let's use compact numbers also let me change this font size for example i'm going to use 48 perfect for this font color let's put black let's change this alignment perfect and now we also need to change this background and border let's pick orange and for this let's put 15 okay that's great now i need to resize this kpi card okay this is much better now what we need to do we need to provide value in this kpi card as you can see we have 15,000 here 
but if we check this metric box here, we will be able to see that, that this is record count. Basically, this means that we are just counting each row that we have in our dataset. So we have 15,000 rows. This metric is not useful for us, so we are going to change it. Let's use profit instead of this. To do that, let's use this profit field, place it here. And now I'm able to see this little sum here. So this means that we are summing all values that we have in our data set. So basically we are presenting total profit in this case. If you put, for example, average, we will be able to see average profit and so on. But in this case, total profit is perfect. So now we have this first KPI card completed. Let me click here and now I'm going to place it like this. Let me resize this one more time. Perfect. Now I'm going to copy this card. Copy, paste it here. Now we have our KPI cards in place. Next, what we need to do, we need to provide proper values for each of them. So, first one is OK. We are presenting profit. Next one will be sales. So, in this metric box, instead of profit, let's provide sales. OK, great. Now we are able to see total sales here. And for the next one, if you check our dashboard, let me click on this, you will be able to see that we are presenting average profit margin. So, basically, as I mentioned, we will be dividing profit by sales. So let's see how can we do that. If I go to this field list, you will be able to see that I don't have profit margin column here. So we will need to create new calculated field basically. To do that, let's use this add a field option. Let's click on that. And now we are able to create new field. So what we need to provide here. We have a list of our existing fields that we already have. And we can use them to create new field. Actually, we will do that. First, I will provide name. OK, great. And now we have this blank field here. As you can see, it says formula. So basically, we will provide our function here. So what we need to do? We need to use profit. So let's type profit. And now we will be able to choose our existing column. Now what we need to do? We need to divide profit. So we will use this to divide profit and let's type sales. OK, great. Now we don't have any errors as you can see here. And if you click on save and if you click on done, we will be able to see that we have this profit margin field here. Also, we have this function icon. So basically, this is our function here. OK, now let's use this. Let's click on this field. Let's drag it here. And I'm going to place it in this metric box. Instead of sum, I'm going to use average. And also for data type, instead of number, I'm going to use percent. Let's click on that. And now we are able to see our profit margin. Great. Now what we need to provide next. Next, I'm going to provide number of different regions that we have in our data set. So let's use this region column place it here and by default we will be able to see this count distinct icon as you can see here and now we are able to see this number of different regions that we have. Let's click on style and let's uncheck these compact numbers and now it's much better. Let's proceed to next KPI card. For this one let's also turn off these compact numbers and instead of profit for this one let's use country. Let's drag this country field here and now we will be able to see number of different countries that we have in our data set. Great. Finally, we will complete the last KPI card. Let's click on this one and let's use this city field. Place it here. Let's click on style, compact numbers and we are able to see number of different cities that we have in our data set. Now with this KPI card completed, we are done with this first section. Next, we will be adding charts to this dashboard. So let's do that. First, I'm going to insert line chart. Click on add a chart. Let's find the line chart. Let's use, for example, this one. I'm going to place it here. 
Excellent. Now we have our line chart. First we need to pick proper values. Basically in this section I would like to present some trend analysis. So basically we will be able to see sales, profit and cost of sales by month. So we will create three different charts for each of these. So one for sales, one for profit and one for cost of sales. So let's do that. First I'm gonna resize this chart. Let's make it to be something like this. And after that I can pick proper values. Instead of channel, let's use order date. Let's place it here. And now let's click on this edit icon here. Let's change this. And now I'm gonna choose month. Excellent. Now we need to provide next value. In this metric box we are able to see total profit. Instead of that I'm gonna provide sales. And also I'm gonna need to sort this chart. Basically as you can see it's sorted by sales. But I would like to sort it by month. So here in this sort section let's click on this one. And instead of sales let's use this month. And also we can leave this descending option. Let me resize this chart one more time. That's perfect. Now that we have our values, we can modify this chart. Let's click on this tile. Instead of this blue line, I'm going to use orange one. Also, for this thickness, I'm going to choose 5. Let's also show those points and I'm going to show data labels, of course. Let's click on compact numbers. And now we are able to see our values. Okay, that's great. Now what we need to change next. Next, let's scroll down. I'm gonna remove this grid. Let's put that to be transparent. And let's scroll one more time. And let's remove this background and border. And now this is perfect. We only need to remove this border that we have. Let's click on style. Scroll down and border color will be transparent. Okay, perfect. Now I'm gonna copy this chart and let's paste it here. Let's copy that one more time. Okay, great. Now what we need to do? We need to provide here instead of sales, I'm gonna provide profit this time. Now that we have our profit, let's proceed to last chart. For the last one, I'm gonna use this cost of sales instead of profit. Actually instead of sales. So let's place it here and now we are able to see all our values. Now I'm gonna add this line. I'm gonna place it like this. And now let's change the style for that line. Instead of two, Let's put 5 and instead of this white color, let's put, for example, something like this. Okay, great. Now let me copy this, paste it here and I'm gonna place it on proper location. Okay, great. Now what we need to add? We need to add titles for these charts. So to do that, let's click on this text, place it here. I'm gonna also make this bold. Maybe I can make it bigger. Okay, great. And let me change this color. Let's use this orange one. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Okay, that's perfect. Now let's place it on proper location and that is perfect. With this completed, we are done with this first section here. Now let's proceed to the second one. Let me first copy this. I'm gonna place it here. And let's also copy that one more time because we will have two charts and we will need title for both of them. Let's put it like this. And now first let's insert that column chart. So let's click on other chart and let's find column chart. If I scroll down, I'll be able to see this column chart here. Let's place it for example here. 
Now we need to provide proper values. In this dimension section, instead of order date, I'm going to provide city. So let's place it here. And also, instead of this metric, I'm going to provide profit. Let's place it here. Okay, let's resize this one. Now let's modify style for this visual. Let's click on that chart. Let's go to style. Let's change first this color. I'm going to pick, for example, I could use this one. Let's try with that. Okay, that's nice. Let's go back to style. Now let's see what else can we change. Let me move this a bit, something like that. Let's try with 70%. Okay, perfect. I'm going to remove this grid. So let's put it to be transparent. Let's scroll down and I'm going to also remove background and border. And basically that's it. We completed this first chart. Now we will need to create one more. So as usual, we will click on add a chart. And in this bar section, instead of column chart, let's use stacked bar chart. Let's place it here. I'm going to also need to resize this. We already have some values here, but we are not going to be using that. Instead of these values, here we will keep this order date. But now let's click on this one. And now I'm going to choose month instead of these values that we have. Let's click on month. Okay, perfect. Now let me first resize this. Okay, great. Now let's change other values. For this breakdown dimension, instead of channel, we will be using region. So let's find the region here. Here it is. Okay, perfect. And now in this metric box, we need to provide some value. Here I will be using profit. Let's place this profit field here. And now we are able to see our values. What we need to do next? We need to sort these values, not based on profit, but based on month. So here is our sort section. So instead of profit, I'm going to use month. And now we have our values. We have only one more thing to complete. We need to modify style for this visual. So let's click on style. Here in this color by section, instead of dimension values, let's click on this second option. Now I will be able to change those colors. Let me click on this blue and instead of that, let's pick, for example, this one. Instead of this one, let's pick something like this. And for this one, let's use, for example, this color. Okay, that's perfect. Now I need to change a few more things. Let's click on style once again. Scroll down. Maybe I could also put that to be like 70%. Okay, great. Scroll down. I'm going to remove grid. Also background. And same for border. I need to add one more thing to this chart. I would like to see data labels. So let's click on show data labels and let's click on these compact numbers. Okay, that's perfect. Now we have all these charts in place, but we need to complete one more thing. We need to add filter to this dashboard. Instead of add a chart, this time we will click on this add a control button. Let's click on drop down list and let's place it here. Instead of region, let's put product category. And I'm going to remove this metric here. And basically that's perfect. Now we are able to filter our data by each of these categories. For example, we are able to see now values for computers. Now we need to add one more thing. Now we need to add information box for that filter. Let's copy this title. Let's place it here. And let me change this.
let me also change this font size i'm gonna make it a little bit smaller and this is perfect so with this i'm gonna conclude this tutorial thank you for watching